Welcome back. Time now, 914. When you're visiting any art museum, you'd expect to find paintings and some sculptures in there. Now you can add living organisms to the list, at least when you're at the Millinex Arts Gallery here in Lexington. Here to explain our Mr. Carl Lindstrom, the curator of the gallery, along with Angus Willis, a bio artist at UK. Guys, appreciate you guys stopping on by Thanks this morning. Us, yeah. This is so neat to me. I see that we have a couple of salamanders mm -hmm. in here just uh, hanging out and enjoying. So give me a primer here, Carl, on what folks can expect. This is so different, but so unique to your gallery. Yeah, so biological art exhibit at the Mill and Max Contemplative Arts Gallery. Basically, every exhibit, every mm -hmm. installation is either alive or has something in it that was once alive. Nice. Yeah. And... Um, this is in collaboration with a special class at UK that mm -hmm. explores the intersection between science, biology, and art. Right. And this is a perfect thing to have at a contemplative arts gallery like ours because it invites our visitors to meditate on a couple things about science. Sure. The history of science. You know Leonardo da Vinci, those oh, beautiful yeah. sketches that he has, Absolutely. right? Well, the sketches themselves, just his process of creating his science is considered art. Right. That's gotten separated in today's modern technological world. Mm -hmm. We like to try and bring it back bring together. Bring it up, reel it back in. Yeah. And the other thing is, you know, we want the audience to meditate on the fact that we've sort of lost contact with the fact that mm. so many things, like this leather chair, sure. is made out of once the biological materials, so right? Yeah. yeah. So when you actually make something art mm -hmm. with a biological material, it mm -hmm. kind of puts the biological material right in your face and reminds you, oh yeah, we have these functional things that's, that are made out of living stuff. That's, and again, you can, you can really then kind of get in the zone, appreciate it, and I've been down to your museum and to your uh, gallery several times. Absolutely gorgeous. And Angus, tell me how you guys are uh, working with the gallery to really just bring, literally bring this to life at the gallery. Well, this is uh, the centerpiece to the Anomalotl project yeah. that I've been working on. These are ordinary axolotl uh, salamanders, mm -hmm. and I'm going to be doing a tissue graft. Axolotl can regenerate limbs, mm -hmm. so if you take a little bit of tissue from somewhere in the body it'll and place it on mm -hmm. somewhere else, it'll grow back as if it was an entire sure. limb. Yeah, yeah and you know, that's kind of sort of what you guys have here too, um, sandwiched in between you guys. Tell me a little bit more about that. That's really interesting from what you were telling yeah. me. So what we have here is we have real skin that has had yeah. the cells stripped out in the laboratory. Mm -hmm. So what you're seeing is the collagen right, the parts that keep it together even when it's not alive. And there's also synthetic skin that was made in the laboratory. And basically this is a reflection of, well, you know, if you have something that's not alive anymore but once right. was, and something that was never alive in the first place, but they both still can function as skin. And it's the same thing as with these animals. What, sure. act, you know, what he's gonna do is he's going to put mustaches on these basically, do cosmetic <laughs> surgery on them, right. and change them in a certain way. Our perspective, it's about um, making pets out of them as opposed to them being the normal animals that you're used to seeing in nature. It's a question about that. What do we do as humans? We use this biological right. material to our advantage. I like what we're doing here, so I wanna make sure that folks can get out and appreciate, enjoy what you guys have going on. Give me the location and of course, when you guys will be, uh, or how long this presentation will be going on for. Sure, we opened up over the weekend, and we're going to be open for six weeks. The gallery's at the intersection of Maxwell and Mill Street. Right, that's, why that's it's called the Max. I like that. That's right. And we're open for <laughs> Wednesday art lunch if you want to come in and have lunch and see some art. And we're pretty much open on the weekends. You can find our hours mm -hmm. at our website, but it's the usual stuff, Friday night, Saturday night, yeah. Sunday afternoon. And again, you can see that contact information there on your screen. Always a pleasure having you guys. Thank you, and Angus, thank you so much for coming on in. As well, I'm being a big old science geek myself. You will find me through your doors here in the next couple of days. So, again, guys, thanks so much for coming in. Thanks really for appreciate us, it. Man. Awesome. We're back with a whole lot more right after this.